What's up everybody? Welcome back to the next part of our Shopify series. So for those of you all who don't know me, my name is Angelo from Cosmos Inc. And I pretty much show people about, you know, sublimation, but this time showing people about Shopify. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that way you'll be notified whenever I post new content. After that, be sure to join our Facebook group. Uh, sublimation cove when you get into the facebook group we do things like giveaways tutorials it's a community of people who do sublimation for a living so just hit that link down below in the description and last but not least we are the owners of cosmos inc so if you need any type of sublimation ink or pigment ink for your business hit that link down below as well and we'll get it sent out to you so in this portion of the uh series we're going to be covering the files section so since we just started up our website, we're not gonna have anything at all within the file section. So if I was to click right here, and this is within the settings, we're still in the same area. If I was to click right here on files, it's not gonna show anything. However, once you start adding things to your product listing, um, not necessarily in the product photos, but if you were to add a photo down in the description, in the description or if you were to add a photo into your uh blog or anything like that then it will start to show up on here even if you were to add it to let's say your home page on your theme like when you go to online stores and go to your theme and go to customize your theme if you were to add a picture within there then it will show up in here and to give y'all a brief overview i'm gonna show y'all on my other website what uh pretty much it'll turn into so it'll turn into this It'll turn into a whole list of your uh uh the images that you post along with the file name of that image that you saved on your computer along with the url if you end up turning that actual image into a um uh, into a clickable link pretty much so yeah that's what you know all of these are for um and this is just from blogs uh, a list of the uh, supplies that people need for sublimation when they click on it it send them to where they got to get it from uh, just a whole list of stuff so yeah once you start adding uh, images to your blog to your theme to uh, a couple of different places other than your product photos it will pop up right in here in your file section all right so that pretty much wraps up this tutorial um also also before i fully wrap it up uh i never hit the upload files button on here because honestly you don't know how big of a photo that you're gonna need until you're within either that product listing or you're making the blog or just whatever so honestly i don't recommend uploading any files through here you can always do it on the back end when you're making your website and doing all that stuff and it'll automatically sync into here all right so now that definitely wraps up everything i will see you all in the very next video and once again please do not forget to subscribe to my channel make sure you join our facebook group sublimation cove and last but not least we are the owners of cosmos inc so if you need any type of ink or pigment ink for your business hit that link down below and we'll get it sent out to you guys all right i will see you all in the very next video angelo out